Boeing have co-invested with the MOD in the strategic facility, which you see behind me here. Working with our local partners, Robertson, and the team on base here at RAF Lossiemouth, this facility has been constructed over the last two years and is going to be the home for the P-8 Poseidon Force for the next few decades. There's obviously been benefits for the local economy in the construction of the facility using um, a local company here, Robertson, who are based in Elgin. But when this facility is up and running, there'll be over 450 civilian and military personnel based here. For me, it's incredibly exciting to be involved in this project. Seeing the P-8 come from uh, the initial announcement of the order in 2015 to actually having the aircraft land in the UK and seeing it right the way through that journey is just a huge privilege. We're responsible for the, 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 of the strategic facility, so that's a building which houses all of the support functions for the P-8 Poseidon aircraft. That includes the engineering, the squadron accommodation, the flight planning areas, the training areas and the engineering areas. So the building is 160 metres by 100 metres footprint over three storeys. The hangar can accommodate three P-8 aircraft for maintenance, but also within here are is accommodation for two squadrons, 120 Squadron and 201 Squadron, plus the Poseidon Line Squadron who are the maintainers. It also houses two flight trainers, two weapons tactics trainers, and a whole range of classrooms and debriefing rooms to support that training effort. Robertson started in Elgin a little over 50 years ago as a small joinery firm. We're now one of the UK's largest privately owned construction businesses, and it's a huge honour to be back here building this facility at RAF Lossiemouth. For us, it's great to be able to reach out to the local supply chain. We've got over 20 local subcontractors working here and to put something back into the communities we work in. Going from seeing the piling uh, to the concrete being poured, to the hangar doors going up, um, just basically seeing like from the ground, you know, patch of grass to just seeing the building go up as a whole has been really exciting. It will offer great opportunity for jobs and also there's the apprenticeship scheme which I'm really excited about. I'm really proud of the building, it's, it's uh, probably the last thing I'll be involved in in my working life. So I'm incredibly proud of it and my ambition always has been to make it the best facility in the Royal Air Force.